Glass jewelry. Ten reasons why it's better than plastic, bioplastic, acrylic, whatever the hell they want to call it this week. Coming up on Body Beersing Basics, episode number 98. So stick around or else. the channel my name is Davo I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994 I own and I operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located right here in Des Moines Iowa inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo so when I talk to you about these things I'm talking to a level of expertise that comes with being in the body piercing industry for well over 27 years So, welcome back to Body Piercing Basics. What I'm going to talk about today is glass jewelry. The reason why I thought about it is I, I just got an order from uh, Glassware. In fact, behind me where you can't see, my apprentice, the apprentice Shannon is actually putting together an order and getting it ready to sterilize. So, it's on my mind, so to speak. For those who don't know what glass is, it is Pilex. It is a very strong material. It's ceramic in uh, nature. Um, it can last uh, in the body for a very long time. And it has a lot of advantages. We're going to get into those. Ten of them, actually, well, right now. Number one, the biggest thing glass has over plastic is it can be sterilized in an autoclave. If you take acrylic, bioplastic, rubber socks, whatever they want to call it, put it in an autoclave, it either melts or it deteriorates. You cannot sterilize it properly. But with glass, you can put it in a pouch, put it in the autoclave, heat it up to 121 degrees Celsius, under 15 pounds of pressure for 15 minutes, kill everything that's inside the pouch, and then have it sterile. Unlike plastic, where you could rub it with some rubbing alcohol and wish for that genie to appear. Number two, uh, it's completely free of any type of metal metallic materials, meaning if you're allergic to anything that has to do with metal, like nickel, uh, copper, zinc, iron, whatever, Glass doesn't have any of that in it. It's glass. Number three. This is kind of a big one when it comes to the medical industry, and I'll get into more about the medical industry here in a little bit. But it is non-metallic, meaning it does not uh, react to any magnets. It's not going to be drawn to them. It's also not going to show up on metal detectors because it, there's nothing there to detect because there's no metal. Number four, it is non-conductive. And this is also a big thing with the medical industry because a lot of the reason why they tell you uh, you got to take off all your jewelry, you can't have any metal against your skin, is because they're worried about having to uh, revive you with electricity. So they don't want anything conductive against your skin. Glass is not conductive. Number five, medical scans are not impacted as much with glass jewelry. Now, the x-rays, there's about an 85% detection over 2 millimeters. CT clan scans, yeah, the glass is going to show up. Um, ultrasounds, there may be a shadow. MRIs, you might have a blooming effect. But it's not going to have the amount of effect that metallic and metal jewelry has. Number six, it doesn't erode, break down, and deteriorate inside your body like plastic does number seven durable enough to be worn in the body for a long period of time kind of re i know i'm just repeating myself a little bit here but it's not going to break down the way that plastic does and not need to be constantly replaced you can wear it for a long period of time meaning if you have medical issues you could put in a retainer wear it during the whole medical situation that you may be having no matter how long it lasts and not have to worry about your piercings closing and not have to worry about constantly taking them in and out. Cool stuff, huh? Number eight, it is extremely body compatible or biocompatible. Unless you're specifically allergic to glass, which I highly doubt, you shouldn't have any reactions. If you have metal allergies and other problems in that direction, glass may be a good option for you. Number nine, there's a lot of design possibilities with this. As far as retainers, there's... Uh, there's plugs, there's eyelets, there's even nostril screws, shaped objects, hangers, etc. It basically comes down to what's available, and there is a large variety of stuff available out there. 
Some of it is maybe a little more fragile than other pieces, but there's a lot you can use with this. It can you pretty much, other than maybe an, a tongue piercing, you can wear glass and pretty much every piercing you can possibly get. You know, of course, not surface to surface piercings and, and stuff like that, but it has a good, it's very versatile is what I'm getting at. Number 10, it is, uh, has one of the greatest finishes you can get. It's smooth like glass. All right. That's all I have to say about glass jewelry and 10 reasons why it's better than junky ass acrylic biocompatible cabbage patch plastic, whatever the hell they're calling it this week. So now you know why I always suggest whenever somebody's going in for surgery or what have you that they, they invest in glass. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but in the long run, it's something you can have for a long period of time, and it's going to hold up better in the body and et cetera. Yes, glass does have, have its disadvantages, and if you really want me to, I can probably go into those. But other than being fragile, it's a good substitute for metal jewelry. If you found this edifying, enjoyable, you learned something, or, you know, you generally like to do that. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it because we like it when you like it. If you haven't subscribed already, why the hell not? Hit that notification bell also while you're there to make sure that you get notified every single time we post something. Check out that merch store. Link is in the description. Lots of t-shirts, including this one. Pierce, but I'm not telling where. And a lot of other ones, including some tattoo ones and some piercing ones and all kinds of different products like leggings and phone cases, oh my, and all kinds of stuff. Till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in Des Moines, I hope to see your body piercing needs in the future. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. I'm really into this pointing thing lately. Don't know why. I keep doing it. But enjoy yourself. Go out do something. Hopefully you're not buried under snow like we are. You know, you can still go out in the snow. Just it's kind of hard to enjoy it as an adult, I guess. Tubing. Anyway, see you in the next video.